Hi everybody, today I'll be unboxing a pair of Nike Air Max 1 IDs from 2016. I'm going to use the pink scissors and not the green scissors and you'll see why. Um, I made like, I think, yeah, 15 pairs and like of this option and I think this is number 10. I think it is. If, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, whatever, but yeah, I think it's number 10. Um, I went with a pink and black option that's why i got the pink scissors and yeah <laughs> you'll, you'll see you'll see okay let's have a little butchers i've had these for a year as well literally sitting here unopened for one year literally one year oh my days so um yeah let's just see what they look like There you have it. Yeah, they're all right, I guess. <laughs> One sec. This is the boring part of the video. Well, unless you find the rest of it boring too. Okay, so. Yeah, there you have it. Pink and black. I just wanted to use those two colors. Um, I wanted to use black because like, black's like a darker color and I like the contrast between you know, pink and black. Pink pops, black is just dark as it comes. Um, ignore the laces, they're like two-tone, but I'll come back into that later. Okay, so let's start with, uh, let's start with the underlay. I went with a black mesh, mesh because I don't like how leather creases. I went with a digital pink leather quarter. And the swoosh is also a digital pink lever again because I wanted the swoosh you know just to like blend in uh, the mudguard is a black lever pretty tough the lining is also black the laces are two-tone and there's a reason why it's digital pink which is like you know the rest of the shoe well you know that pink there and then you also got like Persian violet. And the reason with that is that I'm going to do a lace swap anyway. So it doesn't really matter because they, I don't think I even had just pink, you know, as dumb as it sounds. I don't think they even had like a standard flat pink. So maybe that's why I did it. Or maybe, yeah, that is why I did it. Plus I wanted that eyelet to be pink because if, if those laces were like black, for example, the eyelet would have been black. That's how they did it. So... I wanted that to be pink. I mean, that was the closest thing where you could do was to have that, that two-tone. But I've got some next pink laces. Hopefully, they will just like, blend right in. If that doesn't work, I'll throw in some black laces. Ooh. Maybe even black still. Um, if I do the pinks, I'll use... I've got some aglets. I'll just have some aglets like, hanging down. I don't know. You know what? Shall I do that now? Um, yeah, hold up. Let me do that now, yeah? One sec. And we're back. So I threw in pink laces. It's not the exact same shade of pink, but you know, it's close enough. And I used black aglets. And then on the other shoe, I put in black laces again with black aglets. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What looks better? At first, I thought the pinks would work better, but now I don't know, man. Actually, I don't know if that does look good. But then. That looks good too. So, I don't know. Anyway, but that's how. That's a rough idea of how they'll look. Well, actually, that's an, ex an exact idea of how they'll look. But, um, yeah, I don't know which one to go with black or pink. Um, but, anywho, with the rest of the description, I used. Where was I? I was up to the laces, right? So, obviously, the midsole, yeah, I used a black Luna midsole. Um, I went through a phase when I kept using Luna, and now I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I should have just gone with an OG. I think I like Luna because, you know, it gives, like, a different aspect to the shoe. It adds, like, a new element. But, oh. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, that's basically because, you know, they're, like, pink shoes. So, yeah. But it could be an issue if someone only sees, like, that part of a shoe. But, anywho... Um, yeah, that's my ID. I used black stitching because I wanted 
obviously just a black and pink look to it. Um, the airbag is it's supposed to be clear, but it looks black, but I'm okay with that because black is good. And actually, you know what? It is supposed to be black, so my bad. Um, yeah, black airbag. And the outsole. Ooh, it's a daisy. Outsole is a digital pink and it's a translucent. So it's see through somewhat. You can maybe see some black creeping through. What the hell, man? Is that grass? No, it's just paper. Because these are brand new, so you get me. So how would that be grass? Hmm. What kind of nonsense is that? But, okay, yeah. So pink and black on the outsole. Obviously, it's black because it's lunar outsole. Maybe that's why I chose a lunar midsole because you get like a two tone effect. If it's just like an OG midsole, you'll get a solid pink, for example. Um, but yeah, so these are my Nike IDs. I don't like how it's white on the logo, but it is what it is. Uh, pink and black was the colorway I went with, and I think they look alright. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think about this ID and I'll see you lot next time. Oh yeah, by the way, check out my Instagram, you know it's Footwear in the Fridge and the website is footwearinthefridge.com I think they turned out alright still. It's a bit wrinkly, look at this like leather, I don't know if you can catch it. It's a bit like wrinkly, what's up with that? But yeah, this is the point where I just wrap it on and I'm going to just go now, alright? I'll see you later. Bye.